Well, hello, everyone. This is, of course, your host, the Owl Hat. Funny digging noise. Welcome back to Oxen Free. I've been marathon playing this motherfucker because there's so much going on, and I, I can't wait to find out all of it, so I have to <laughs> play right through. Yo, buddy, Ren, you need to bring your ass because, you know, you freaked out on us. Clarissa, though, I'm hoping we can save her. God, I'm having horrible flashbacks to the time I let Kate die. Now, let's go to the outpost. As horrible as that is, I'm hoping we can save her. I've been playing a lot of games where that kind of thing happens. Look, I know you can't save the Empress in Dishonored, but oh, part of man. me hopes so. You know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That what? show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but... Are you still high, high, bro? Are you still out of it? I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is... I can't believe you don't remember this. A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played, and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is... Uh, sure, I... If I squint, I can kind of remember. What about it? Nothing. I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was... indisposed? Michael had just died, like, it may as well a month be honest. or two before, and I... I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's... whatever, that's... that's not part of the story. Anyways... She was going to retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... Just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a... Really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, like the music we're playing right now, actually. You to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did. Friends yeah, are more I mean, important. Hell yeah. needed his amp. And it was just a stupid test. So well, I'm not texting my friends right now. The funny part is, I right now, same so. test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine, and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that... She still- You failed to tell me that part. Maybe that's why this is a more meaningful memory to me than you. Yeah, I mean, even if you think Good. the test was stupid, I don't know. Can't help but feel that you Anything maybe should have probably still fancy done it. Happening? Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just... Like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. I'm not that smart, Jonas. There's nothing really to waste here. If you say so. I do, I say so. Restricted keep out. Well, here we are again on the other side. Not the Adele song. Um, good that we're running. Can we maybe find the other girl? What's her name? Because, oh, oh, something green. What is it? Uh, was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, yeah. which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. Oh, I do want to go in here. Maybe we'll see her again. I know, I kind of feel like I want to get the band together. Like, can we get everybody together at the same time in the same place? Maybe we can figure all this out. Good old loading screen. Uh, 9.43 anomaly, right? <laughs> Charlie Six. Every individual it has maintained is enveloped in a radium invisible to the carnal eye. Alright. Um, is there anything to see in here? Oh, what? Something red again. No? Or no? Yeah? Oh, good. Looks like something happening. Yeah? Go to facilities. Go to facilities. Hmm. Well, Clarissa did jump out of here and die. So I kind of want to explore. Sorry if this is not as exciting. He volunteered for submarine service. And there's a giant cartoon tiger for some reason. Excellent. Oh, good. Now nothing's in here that was in here before. That's awesome. That's not weird at all. Anyway, this is where we... Excuse me. No, let me up the ladder. Like, what do you think is... Time is obviously bending. Maybe there's something to do with the... 
way you go about it? Like, maybe if you save him first and then bring him, other things happen? I just wanted to see if I could find her again, man. No, nothing. Orderly! Orderly! No, you guys got no opinion on stuff going on here, right? Alright, well... I did try. I just... Uh, I, I did attempt to at least come back here and save her, so you can't say I didn't try. I gave it a shot, man. I wonder if there's a difference. Like, if I don't go save her first, what could happen? Nothing so far. Bunch of chairs stacked up. Kind of weird that this place has so much left to it, being as it's abandoned. You'd think it'd be emptied. Now we're going back to the outpost and then going to the tower, right? That's the idea, I imagine. Alright, I just thought that, you know, maybe there'd be some shit going on. What's over here? Anything important? Oh, something! Ah, it's red. That. Ah, here we go. Let's see what's going on. Number 104.7 anomaly. A uh, low frequency radio wave is incident upon a body of radio waves travel forever. Okay, uh, not so weird. U.S. Army RCS or the Milliner Outpost. No, we want to go to the Milliner Outpost and then back to the comm tower. I get, we, we could theoretically go anywhere, but for right now, assuming that this is not time, you know, time sensitive is my thing. I'm assuming things just sort of happen on their own. I, I don't know. I don't know what to think, okay? There's a lot of stuff going on in a lot of different directions at once. I should ask my friend Todd. He's, like, very knowledgeable about sci-fi type shit. Maybe. Excuse me? What's up, girl? Oh, crap. This what? Isn't, this is just coming out of speakers in the roof thing, isn't it? That's coming out of speakers <laughs> all over the place. She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god, is this what I sound right. like? So, if Nona's in the comm tower, how can and anyone all stand with us? listen to me all day? Well, you know what? I think Ren would like to listen to you. He, he said, I shipped them a little bit. <laughs> I should I should be asking my friend Todd what he thinks is going the fuck on because oh, he is a smarter hey man than I. I see you down there, and without Clarissa. Sorry, what do you want me to do, Actually, man? Actually, I'm gonna stop talking since so obviously isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's, She's probably, probably scared. at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. When? when did you take a second one? How many do you even have? I ate it right when we got back to the fields. I thought you noticed. Wait, you're not Dude, messing with us? Seriously? You seriously took another one? It was like it was like half of one, alright? It's just probably a bad. Now. It'll it'll bring me back. You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you <laughs> up, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not that's not nice. Oh, a lot God. of things about what is going on tonight are not nice, but they are interesting. I got some real beverage confusion going on right this now. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. We heard you on the squawk box. When I tried it, I just got static and a, a weird sound, so. That's about all that I'm getting. Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier. Oh, you're but, still weird, don't worry. Hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? Not you in the least. You something. You've been like, Look, we tuned into something in the cave, and uh, it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes. Mostly oh. his fault. Oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. You're high. Dude. Shut up. Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. 
What kind Great, of boat? Great, thanks for helping. It's a, uh, you know, it's a, a boat boat, like a rowboat thing. My it's sister boat, Allie worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Well, I mean, Jonas, has Jonas kind of does have a point here. Like, Sadly. do you know there's a boat? Or is this like when you knew the teachers kept liquor in the lounge? <laughs> come on. I was like 13 when I thought they all got drunk at lunch. This is a real thing. There's a boat at her dock. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? A little bit, you yeah. To trust you when things are really bad? It was your fault. Jonas, it totally you was your fault. This was your fault. Even a blind guy could flail around and bump into that conclusion. You crawled into that hole. You got us stuck. Guys, come on. And you tuned into the triangle thing, Alex. You told me to. So you can't pin Yeah, the I tuned into the triangle thing, which, by the way, I can't stand when you call it that, the triangle thing, because you wanted me to. Even though I wasn't there, I have no problem believing that. It should be obvious <laughs> to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, oh, don't be a dick. we all grew up with each other. Ren, Ren, it's okay. Relax. I like the plan. The plan's fine. We'll all... It doesn't matter if the plan is fine. You're a this dick. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. Chill, the stories dude. I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? Oh boy, He's here gonna we trash go. our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? Guys, hey guys stop. Chill stop out. It. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> Shut up. There what is, is a that? boat. Uh, at uh, 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 you and the keep key your to ass her back house over here. is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi functioning walkie talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not yeah, that you... sure, what the hell? Not, not... Yeah, it's not like, you know, I'm fine, whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't, you shouldn't go alone. We don't need like three well, of us up who here. else is going yeah, with I'll me? I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea. No, you're high, you kidding? stay at your the radio tower. Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. Shut up, Just everybody. shut up, both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do Nona, you want coming I'm with going you? with the girl. Nona, wanna come with me? What? Really? Yes. I mean, I guess. Fuck all Why of y'all. Why isn't me shack up with it's this guy? Right. Both of you. God. Well, I'm tired of you, that's why. I'm not going to die if I go to the grocery store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Well, fuck all of y'all. <sighs> Nona's happy, hey, right? Nona's happy. You're happy, right? Um, sure. She's thrilled. I'm totally glad I went with Nona. Fuck the two of them. They can chill out. They've both been possessed so far. Find the gate key all the way over there. Fuck you guys, man. No hard feelings. No. Don't get depressed and eat any more brownies, okay? I still need you tip-top, all right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Look, just go easy on Ren when we get back, okay? He's fragile. He has, like, a squirrel heart. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Fuck your attitude, buddy. I know I could have left Ren with Nona, but, eh... She seems to have her head about her, and she's been exposed to the weirdness as well. I feel like it's a good idea, besides the two of them need to chill out. Maybe get an apology from somebody? What a bunch of weird shit. <laughs> oh, good! Dramatic music. Anything else going on? No. No radio frequency shit. This is still so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself, but it is actually kind of a lot of fun. Keep an eye out for any strange landmarks. Maybe we can get another radio frequency thing. 82. In 1988, it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin, Dick who Hardin. served as the tower's <laughs> communications officer for eight years. Uh, from Dick Hardin. Dick Harden and his giant erect tower. 
<laughs> I'm an adult. Oh boy. <laughs> I shouldn't have that much fun with it, but I do. I hope this was the right decision bringing Nona along. Epiphany Field, Harden Tower. That's never going to stop being funny ever. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't find it that amusing, but I do somehow. Man, there's a lot of shit going on in this game. Do you think it's possible to save Clarissa you know, and... I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. Do you? You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, good. <coughs> oh, hey, it's it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so... Okay. Um, we're going across the woods and then down. So we want to go down and to the left. Excellent. I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch... You get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation. You can just do your work over. So... What are you do instead? Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that... Oh, you're a ballet dancer. Really? That's cool. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, happy early birthday! In my family, we celebrate birthdays all week, so you're four days late. Lieutenant you gotta get in the mind state. Thanks. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I brought it up. Hey man, That's it's cool. Force. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and, well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, uh, actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. No, tell me. I'm just in a fog I'm curious. Right no, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Jess, this was when Nicole was in a car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's calm. Okay, I'm going the right way, right? I think so. Decency, it's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies. That's sweet. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. I That's hope so, all. too. Um, we'll find her. Find her, Nona. No, Not totally will. Her. She'll be okay. <sighs> Yeah, We're not going to have any weird Chloe moments where she's dead. Although that's the kind of the way I'm going with it. I expect something terrible. Very atmospheric music, by the way. Have I mentioned that? Alright. Great. Lighthouse. Let's go to the cliffs. Maybe we want to stay away from cliffs. We've had a bad habit of people jumping. I'm fine. I'm not angry. I'm a little angry. Seriously, Clarissa, what the hell is your problem? You jumped out of a fucking window in front of me. That's awful. Huh? Whoa, purple. I don't know how I feel about purple. Anything? Uh, okay, cool. So, whatever this was. Nona, maybe you want to stay a little closer than that. This is the right way, right? Well, we don't want to go down to the beach. We want to go to the left. Creepy music. Oh, crap. I am, like, way over time. That is my bad. Uh, guys, I'm going to say that's going to do it for the episode. If you enjoyed that, leave a like. If you'd like to see more... Hit subscribe, please. Tell me what you thought in the comments section. And guys, this is your host, the Owl Hat, saying, so I will see you next time.